Mr. Shivam Chhabra, spokesperson of the BJP, along with leader of the Congress, uh, Rohan Mitra, with us on the broadcast. Mr. Mitra, I want to first off begin by asking you this, and much has changed, especially with regards to the Congress. On part of the Congress, several announcement, announcements like support to the Ahmadmi Party over the ordinance issue, perhaps not taking into account what happened in Pachayat polls in West Bengal, and really paving way for all opposition parties to come together. Why this change of heart, though? Krishan, uh, first of all, uh, very good evening to you and your viewers. Uh, let me answer your questions first. You know, um, the Congress Party has not supported the Aam Admi Party. This is the way the, you know, you're missing the point. Here, there was an ordinance which mm -hmm. the Supreme Court of India had turned and said it was wrong. The BJP went against the Supreme Court of India and brought in this uh, ordinance which would give it powers to the Lieutenant Governor to rule over a elected government. The Congress took stand against that. You have to understand the Congress's stand is against but these But Mr. Elected, Mitra, uh, there the are some in the Congress who have been saying, in fact, who have been raising questions with the Ahmadmi party and I'm talking about that, not that, just that, Delhi-based that, Congress leaders, but elsewhere as well, who've said that, look, no, this that is the every, formula that every, everyone every, has been following the last 15 years. Why does the Ahmadmi party suddenly have a problem with the same? There is opposition coming in from within the, the Congress the, to the, the very idea. because the problem is because the governors of India right now in various states, they are doing illegal stuff. You have seen what has happened in Maharashtra. The Supreme Court has pointed it out that the Maharashtra governor was doing an illegal act when it removed the MVA government. It is a fact today. Even in Tamil Nadu, what we've seen, we've seen the governor of Tamil Nadu remove a member of the ministry without consulting the chief minister. Mm -hmm. So these are points you and the media cannot ignore that the BJP is taking these steps which have to be fought back. These are issues of the country which the people of India will not tolerate. These are unconstitutional acts. So the Congress is with the Constitution of India. Mm -hmm. It is standing by the Constitution of India. It is saying that, listen, everything cannot go on like this. Yes, we have differences with the AAP. The Congress uh, leaders of Delhi and Punjab have differences with the AAP. But the Congress is being generous. Congress is following the rule but of for law. for how long will that Congress the last, by. Mr. Mitra, that's the limited point. Will all let, the let, parties let, let involved me, in this grand alliance, which will be taking on the BJP, uh, head into different directions post 2024? Why should that not be a concern? Is my only limited point. But I also want Mr. Chabra to come in. I'll come back to you, Mr. Mitra. I have more questions for you. Don't worry, but Mr. Chabra, how do you see this? From 15 in Patna to 26, as is being claimed, the strength is for sure, uh, you know, going up. How does the BJP feel about their plan? See, we need to realize what all the opposition are getting together is nothing more than uh, a, dece a deceiving situation uh, for anybody. And I think it is not a Mahagat ma Bandhan because it, it has got no Bandhan. There is no communication and there is no chemistry amongst the opposition party which are getting together. The only agenda of the opposition party is anti-Modi. They are just anti-Modi and they are, they are basically... Uh, you know, put out by the popularity Prime Minister Nandar Modi ji has got for past uh, so many years now. So th they are basically rattled by the fact that Prime Minister Modi is still gaining the popularity and, and they can't even find a single leader who is of the same stature as, as of him. This is the only agenda. And okay. I think, I mean, how can you, and, 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 and the most important part is, who are the opposition parties? Either they are, uh, they are they are all family-run uh, organizations. Mm. I mean, either the Bab Beta is going to run it, either the Ma Beta is going to run it, either Ma okay. Beta is going to run it. It's all dynastic parties, and the it's common agenda parties. that's binding them all is corruption, is what the BJP has been saying, Mr. Mitra, for yes. for the last yeah, few hours. Mr. Mr. But but the Let fact that there are regional differences, and you're admitting to those regional differences, Mr. Mitra, you're talking about how there is a lot of anger within the Congress in Punjab. The, who have been alleging that the Ahmadmi Party is misusing agencies in the state against Congress leaders. There is a lot of anger in West Bengal Congress as well with regards to the violence that was witnessed all through Panchayat polls. How are you going to set aside those differences, iron out those differences? Okay, uh, before I answer this, you know, uh, who is Mr. P uh, Chirag Paswan? You know, when you're blaming the Congress for following dynastic politics, mm -hmm. who is Mr. Rajbhanj and his son? Who is Mr. You know, in uh, if you see in various states in in Bengal, you have Arjun Singh and his son who are 
who are following the dynastic paths in BJP. You have Mr. In, uh, Hari Imachal Pradesh, you have Anurag Singh, who's father, uh, Anurag Thakur, whose father was the CM. So, you know, when the dynastic politics comes in, just to blame the Congress and the opposition parties, is a complete, complete, you know, it's just not right. Coming back to your question, yes, there is a difference with the Aam Aadmi Party in uh, Punjab. But that is the point here. Uh, you know, we are talking about bringing a common minimum program. Let's talk about bringing a consensus. It is India. We are allowed to have differences, and yet we can discuss. What What about the JD, JDS? The BJP was in a... Uh, BJP was complaining mm. about the JDS, about the Deva Gaudas. Today, the Deva Gaudas are coming close to the B uh, BJP. We saw in Meghalaya okay. where Conrad Sangma, who was an ally okay. of the but BJP... I, I have a follow-up question. Election, I do have a follow-up question, Mr. Mr. Mitra. Stay on with us. I also want to shift our attention to another breaking news update coming in. Since you mentioned Mr. Paswan, let's also put out this picture. A day ahead of the NDA meet, which, remember, is also taking place on the 18th, which is tomorrow. Union Home Minister seen with Chirag Paswan. Those are the visuals we've managed to access on your screens, his interaction with the Union Home Minister. Let me go across to Mohit joining us with more details. Yes, Mohit. Well, yes, in fact, uh, uh, Chirag Paswan, the LJP Ramvilas Paswan faction um, uh, chief, has also met Home Minister Amit Shah and this meeting lasted a few minutes. And we also know for a fact that how JP Nadda, the BJP president, has already invited uh, the uh, uh, Chirag Paswan to the NDA meeting that is all set to take place to, uh, tomorrow in the evening. And uh, uh, with this, we can completely be sure that uh, any moment from now, there an official confirmation from Chirag Paswan can come that he has officially joined the NDA. Fold. And in some time from now, also, between J.P. Nadda, the BJP president, will be addressing a press conference. Most likely, what the sources say, that he'll be speaking on the composition of the NDA leaders, which will be present in tomorrow's meeting. So that question surely will be asked to J.P. Nadda, the BJP president, who is also set to address a press conference at 5.30. But we have seen in past few days, while the opposition parties are uh, trying to trying to uh, stitch an alliance with all the opposition parties coming together, having a meeting in Bengaluru, we also see that how the NDA, is, uh, the BJP is also trying to ensure that the more and more parties come to the NDA uh, with the with the welcome of Hindustani Awabi Morcha, OP Rajpur. Then we saw that how Ajit Pawar's faction has already confirmed that they will be yes. coming for the NDA's meet. And now with the uh, okay. Chirag Paswan meeting, Home Minister These Amit Shah. These visuals Shab. most Thank certainly you. can't be sidelined given they're coming hours before the crucial NDA meet, which is also going to take in the national capital. Mohit, many thanks for joining us with those details, thanking our guests as well. We need to head into a very quick break. We'll be right back.